Does the government work for us or do we work for the government? Tonight, what if the federal government routinely breaks the same laws it prosecutes other people for breaking? What if the first words of the Bill of Rights dealt with the separation of church and state? What if Jefferson fought his entire life to bring these principles to the government and hoped they'd never be interfered with? What if your right to believe as you wish and worship as you choose is a natural right that no government may interfere with? What if the government can no more lawfully compel a religious group to buy condoms than it, can compel, the group, than it can compel the group to worship the devil? What if the American people really know that we all have the right to be left alone and worship in the manner of our own choosing? What if the money of a religious organization belongs to it and not to the government? What if members of religious groups have the natural right to spend the group's money only on the things they believed in? What if that right was protected in the Constitution? What if the president and his progressive followers think there are too many people in America? What if the president secretly wants to decrease the population? What if the government doesn't care about natural rights and the Constitution it is legally committed to uphold? What if the president hates religion because it promotes human dignity and personal freedom, and he believes in neither? What if the president's recent assault on Catholicism is just the tip of an iceberg? What if the government ordered Catholics to eat meat on Fridays in Lent? What if it ordered Jews to eat pork, or Muslims to own dogs, or Protestants to genuflect? What if the president ran for office on a platform of human freedom and civil liberty, and he didn't believe in either? What if the president and his secretary of state publicly beat their breasts over the dismal state of human rights in China and Libya? And what if the president said he cared so much about Libyans' human rights, he had to bomb Libya in order to protect civilians? What if the president stands passively on the sidelines while the streets of Syria run with the blood of its civilians? What if the president refused to explain how he decides whom to help and whom to let die on the vine? What if this same president who condemns the government of Iran for incarcerating its citizens without trial claims that he can murder American citizens without trial? What if the president declared he could detain and kill any American without due process and he bombs foreign leaders for doing the same? What if the president pretended that he is an inheritor of the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. at whose hands no one died? What if the federal government persecuted all the people in China because its government called itself communist? What if everyone in the United States was forced to put up with a trade embargo on that country because of the label the government there gave itself? What if you couldn't travel to China or do business there or send any money to your family there because of what the word communist meant in the 1960s? What if the government thinks it has the right to tell you where to go? What if the country I'm really talking about wasn't China, but was Cuba? What if China presented a far greater threat to our freedom and safety than Cuba ever did? What if the government's trade and embargo policies are motivated by old animosities and prejudices rather than by freedom? What if it's none of the government's business where the goods you purchase were made? What if the government prosecuted American businessmen for bribing officials in foreign countries at the same time it was bribing officials in foreign countries to allow oil pipelines to be built and our soldiers to pass through? What if the federal government helped other countries lay oil pipelines but prevented them from being built here? What if you really do own your property and you could sell it to whomever you chose, even a Canadian oil company? What if, under the Constitution, the president has no say over what you can do with your property and no power to prevent you from selling it to whomever you want? What if the government bribed the poor with welfare and the middle class with tax breaks and the rich with subsidies? What if the government rigged elections so that no matter who wins, nothing changes? What if a presidential candidate offered positions of power to public officials without their knowledge? What if those public officials endorsed that candidate and then the media trotted out the endorsement as if it was something we should take seriously. What if the leading Republican candidate for president really agreed with President Obama more than he agreed with the folks who fought and won our revolution? What if that candidate, who argues against the right of the government to manage health care, secretly believes the government can manage health care? What if through all this hypocrisy, the American people could lift the veil from their eyes and do something about it. 
What if it's too late? From New York, defense.